Cheers. Uh, rolling a couple of dice. We got red, white Shuffling vehicles. a couple decks. Versus the white black aggro, which is uh, an interesting matchup. So I think Sanders probably has more removal in his deck. Potentially, and Sanders also nothing, definitely goes nothing, bigger. Nothing makes a jake Sanders has Abyssins. Yes, whereas this vehicle deck needs to get the job done early. Yeah, I don't know that he's on red, red white vehicles, though. Red white vehicles. Red white vehicles. I don't know that he's on web white. Unweast Does he have the web white? Weapon. Do you remember that from uh, Bible's American Tale? I do. Revise the secret weapon. That's such a great movie. <sighs> what? Oh, man. <laughs> it's got that song where they're singing it in two different places. <laughs> Holy yeah. smokes. It was a depressing movie. Like, kids' movies back then were depressing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Why do you think I am the way I am? I'm like, I mean, I've seen him too. I learned about the, the harsh cruelties of our capitalist system very early. <laughs> All right. Toolcraft Exemplar, a much faster start for Zach than for Sanders. Here's a selfless spirit. Selfless spirit. Yeah, I think the uh, selfless spirit is a big proponent of seizing the means of productions as well. Uh, <laughs> there's some some okay, kid. Was just like, no, that's fine, man. I thought you were gonna do the same thing. All right, all right. So we got the there was confusion about whether or not we were ending the turn. Yeah, there was a point involved, but I think it was just like yes. attack you. He's like, oh, wow. I want, I want those means of production. <laughs> I want those means of production. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right. Trying to resolve so this scry too. Looks like we're gonna go one up, one down. Yeah, we're splitting them. And here's turn three from Sanders. Lots of planes. Full, full grip of land. And. uh... Oh, the responder boy. See, this is a card that can change this matchup because I don't know if you're aware of this, John. But I probably am. But go ahead. But uh, battling through a creature with lifelink, racing that easy. guy is not gonna not gonna be a good. You can try easy. to race a creature with lifetime lifelink. You're gonna have a bad time. Oh, I have played against many a Baneslayer angel. Right. Uh, many an Exalted Angel. Oh, Exalted Angel. Do you remember that card? I do. Fond memories in many cases. Whose cube was it that we used to play where the Exalted Angel had Exalted? They gave it Exalted. Oh, God. <laughs> they retroactively gave that creature Exalted. Cause it was I forget it who named. it was. It was funny. They had. I think it was a flavor cube. Yeah, let's leave our basic planes up. All right. I'm going to play around uh, Wasteland. Right. So I don't think there's a, a spell on one white or one black. However, uh, there's plenty. Instant? Yeah. Uh, we got Built to Last. It's such a plethora. Uh, there's the <laughs> black. <laughs> Oh, there's the one where a creature gets minus one, minus one, right. or plus one, plus one, and then or you can both. entwine it. It's not entwine. I'm trying to think of the name of that. No, escalate. No, no. Yeah, it escalates. You choose both. Right. Um. All right, so he's played the Gideon here. This Gideon really, is not long for this world. I'm wondering why it's even in play. So I'm looking at his hand. He's got a he's got a PNLR. So Gideon goes up. I guess I guess if you take Sanders off attacking you. So Sanders draws. Well, Sanders has land, so he can activate the Shambling Vent, double swing at Gideon, still have two mana open to do whatever he wants. It looks like I wonder if Sanders is his line. It looks like he has a copter in hand. 
which makes it a big deal. Okay. Alright. <coughs> we get this copter out here, which is pretty strong. Yeah, copter's a good play. This copter can crew. He has two copters. So, like, copter. So, crewing the copter with the selfless spirit and then just letting it die for the loot. If you're going to trade with this motorist, is a pretty good play. Okay. Because he's got another copter in hand. Sure. But I think the copter is better than a random card. Well, you're not even trading with the motorist. You're just killing it. Because your copter oh, sure. is a 4-4. Four, four. There's a clue. So All now right. this Gideon's got to go up. Gideon's got to go up and get in. Get in. Get in in there. Get in. Okay, Cassandra's just going to take it right on the teeth here. Yeah, no reason to throw anything away here. Um, Does need to pump the brakes a little bit here. I would, I would definitely just send the selfless spirit at the Gideon. Absolutely. It's got vigilance. You're going to kill it 100% of the time. Your creatures come in tapped, which is a bit awkward. So, I don't know if a, if a Declaration in Stone is the right play here, or... I don't know what his other card is. I think Declaration in Stone's in hand. It's, but this... So, it's another Copter, I think. Mm. If it's another Copter, I don't like playing this land. But I guess, like, keeping blockers back is decent. Yeah, I see Sanders board Sanders board is, is stonewalled Zach's uh any kind of aggression Zach has here. Zach does have two clues. So he can rebuild pretty well. Yeah, looks like he's got some action in hand. So I'm always a big fan of, of uh just getting aggressive and uh Sure. So I think the hand is PN Depala. Couple of legendary ladies. Yeah. Definitely want to play this to Paula pre combat. Yep. But then swing with his motorist is much better. Yeah, so the motorist now gets to trade off with everything on the board. Any any given blocking creature. Mm -hmm. Alright. So do you want to trade <coughs> any of your creatures for this? I would block with my shambling vent and sack the selfless spirit. Okay, this is a move. Oh man, that's a great card. Discard that guy. Sack the spirit. And sack the selfless spirit. You definitely have to at this point. Right. Yeah, you're pretty in on that. Oh man. Hmm. I guess he's just going to replace next turn. But then we can't get back the scrounger. Right. Nope. 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 Sir, you can't do that. Can't nope. do it. Ain't gonna do it. It ain't prudent. I ain't gonna do it. Making all kinds of old dead president references. Uh, he's not dead, is he? No. No, that one's still alive. Of that presidential alive. references tonight. I had a Clinton reference early. Earlier. It was really a Clinton reference. It was a Phil Hartman reference. Playing Clinton. Warlords. <laughs> Alright, so. Pop a clue. Hopefully get some gas here. We know he's got the Pia. Which is solid already. Oh, I can't even handle this Jake in the chat with his New England self-flagellation or self-gratifying self New England Patriots references. We get it. Your quarterback's pliable. 
Do like, we get it? Like your understanding of the rules. <laughs> All right. So as we're searching, oh, we found the thopter. So this is interesting. The thopter can actually block and kill the sulfa spirit. I think you just have to pass. Your Depaul is not doing anything good for you right here. You can block and kill the Soulful Spirit. Worst comes to worst, you can sack your clue at the end of turn. The thing you have to remember is you're not ahead by that much. Sanders or Zach? Because I think Sanders is ahead here. Sanders is ahead on board. Zach's ahead on life total and cards in hand. That is true. So, I mean, I think if Zach were to play, okay, here we go. Veteran motors. Yeah, I think committing to, like, one big attack is fine. Sure. Oh, man, here's Chandra. I don't think that's I don't really think, where you want to be here. I don't think Planeswalkers are good in this situation. Sanders has a lot more evasion than you do. Mm -hmm. And so, like, and this always watching makes his, his attacks free. Like, there's no cost to attacking you. Right. So, I mean, putting Chandra on the board, like doesn't really yeah it's not a dead draw in that it replaces itself but it's not a card that's going to win you the game the next couple turns and that's what he needs i would have gotten the copter there so copter plus to paula yeah means, that's big means money you have a you have a, a flyer that can match up with kevin's copter yeah. and you get to you get to go deep on trying to get some some action going with Depala. Absolutely. And that's really that's really the the crux of the battle here is that Kevin's so much bigger than you. It is his guys is always watching makes the biggest difference in this match. It's going to come out of the 3-4 vigilant This is an life aggressively leaker. bad attack. And this 4-3 uh scrap heap scrounger. So, if you would have tapped his mana correctly no i mean it's as correct as it can be he just doesn't have another black to activate the shambling vents on defense well you got to keep one up because if the scrap heaps cruncher dies right you want to be able to bring it back all right here's a draw and a discard from sanders planes down See, this is is interesting. So every every available attacker is attacking here. For those of you at home, since they have vigilance, it's hard to tell. Sure. All right. Thopter gets involved. I think you have to preserve your Depala. But I think it can be important to kill the shambling vent here. Yeah, you killing only need the shambling one, vent. You only need one card there. Because Depala makes your dwarf a 4-2. Right. So having uh, having that Thraven Inspector there is pretty bad. All right. All right. All right. Figured it, it out. out. Figures it out. I guess you can throw the Thraven Inspector. Yeah. Nowhere else. Doesn't matter. So it's a play here to sacrifice the selfless spirit. Right, but you want to get the three damage in, I think. Yeah, I'm not particularly a fan of it. Like your important card. If you had another black man, I'd be all about it. Oh but. yeah. But your important cards are still alive. Your your copter, and your uh, scrap heap scrounger. Right. Now this extra black doesn't do anything, so you just sit on that. Yeah, so I really wish this draw was a copter, but it's not. It's a Chandra. I think, right? Yeah, I believe you put the Chandra on top. <clears throat> Alright. So assuming it's the Chandra that comes down here, he can kill the selfless spirit. And that makes a big deal. That puts you down to one, one attacker a turn that you have to deal with. Right. Uh, 
This is interesting. Getting a second activation out of this copter is going to be a big deal for Sanders as well. Because no, he's no, got no, 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 no. Think about this. He's got six on the board. Ballista Charger makes uh, 11. Yeah. He's got the clue to sack the Pandalar to, to prevent a blocker. So what he's thinking about doing is getting a damage in. I think you just Chandra, show Sanders the top card of your deck for two damage. Because that makes 11. If Sanders makes a similar attack next turn... He can play the Ballista Charger, sack is the clue. I think it's a cruiser, like a Fleet Wheel cruiser. A Fleet Wheel cruiser is five, right? Makes 11. Yeah. So if he plays the Chandra this turn, deals Sanders two damage, puts Sanders at 11. It, if Sanders makes a similar attack and doesn't commit anything else to the board, you can then play the Fleet Wheel cruiser, use sack the clue to PNLR to prevent a blocker, mm -hmm. and get in for the win. I mean, he has two blockers right now. No, he has one blocker right now. Sure, he has one blocker that if he tries to remove it, he can get a second blocker. So does they. Alright, show him the top card of your deck. I don't think it's egregious here to just kill the selfless spirit and force the activation and then not attack. <coughs> That's interesting. Yeah, you might be right there. All right. All right. Now you can sacrifice this clue to make it not able to block and still swing for six. No, you want to do that next turn. So he can make the same play I was talking about next turn. Because he doesn't need it. He can use... Right, but you, you don't want to minus three Chandra for nothing. And being able to get some damage in and waste this crew is pretty good. Another land for Sanders. Sanders probably thinking very seriously about the correct way to kill this Chandra. He's gotten a little unlucky here with three land draws in a row. You definitely need to loot with copter, so I mean, crew with copter and get in there is step one. Sure. Yeah, like Scrappy Scrounger having vigilance is, is a little bit of like a non bow. Right. Uh, oh, he cho chooses to attack Zach. Now they're always watching. There's another, yeah, this isn't, this isn't what he needs. So, so we've got six on board, and then I think you had to attack Chandra there. Okay, so what he's going to do here is return the scrap heap scrounger and crew the copter, hoping Zach doesn't see the line. Yeah, he's not in great position. It doesn't actually matter, because what Zach should do is play this Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Plus Chandra. Plus Chandra. I don't know why DePaula became untapped. Yeah, it gets plus one from the DePaula, so okay, it yeah, one tramples yeah. over. So the DePaula saved it. 
So he should have just attacked the Chandra first off. Sure. Um, like the four damage there is not a huge deal. Um, right. It, it wasn't a sequence that was gonna win him the game. Right. So like making the sequence to not lose the game is uh is just fine there. See, there he would have been. I mean, he still would have been dead. Uh, yeah. Still would have been dead. Gives you a little bit better shot at winning. That's all we want. We just want fair shots at winning the game. Mm -hmm. And Sanders had, had the triple three lands in a row, which, I mean... Should have also not played the land there. So that he could have looted the land away. Into a stasis snare or something like that. Right. Well, I mean, he didn't have the mana to, but... Right. Yeah, there were a couple minor misplays there, but all in all, it was a pretty tight match. Um, yeah, see, these are two standard decks that I could get used to watching. I mean, they, they, def they interact, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think the Planeswalker card type in general is the best card type in Magic the Gathering. Okay. Uh, but it does produce games where, like, you have, you have real decisions to make. Real decisions. So all of the decisions are fake decisions? Is that what we're saying? Uh, I think there's a large percentage of irrelevant decisions. Right. And I think some of those are the result of Planeswalkers as well. Expand. I'm saying that there's a lot of irrelevant decisions in Magic, period. Because... Because, like, because, and there's no, like... contribute to that problem? I'm saying they don't help it. Oh, I disagree. Really? Yes. So I think Planeswalker is a card type that allows uh, people to... So when you play the card, you inherently gain almost always two decisions. They almost always have... I think... I'm trying to think of ones that don't let you activate one of two abilities on the first turn. Sure. Uh, Gideon, I guess, making a guy on the first turn doesn't mean anything. Right. Um, we saw Zach do it to save it from death, but normally uh, it doesn't matter. But so the player playing the card is making decisions. Sure. And then the player playing against the card additionally has to make decisions as to whether or not... Uh, to attack it. To attack it, to attack the player, to split up their attacks in a certain way. To not attack at all. To not attack at all. To just concede the game. Uh, to just to realize. Wait till Sunday to do laundry. What they're gonna have for dinner that night. Those are all decisions. Yeah, I always do my laundry on Sunday. Yeah, I know. But you can make the decision to not do it on Sunday. I did it on Monday this week. I watched the Monday night football game, did laundry, and played Hearthstone on my on my iPad. Okay. It was a good time. Sounds like a great time. Uh, Doing laundry is always fun. Disagree. I don't know where you do laundry at, but... My, my dad's house. Oh, okay. Yeah, I go to a laundromat. It's always a blast. You used to always root for me. But I think, I think these decision points didn't exist, and uh, they don't exist on other card types. They're more nuanced on other card types. Or new, and do you think that's better or worse? Better. So I think Planeswalkers have a lot of potential, but they're way too linear in their design nowadays. Yeah, I mean, I think they, it took them a few... It Hell definitely yeah. took them many sets to figure out what a good one looks like. Yeah, no, they had good ones to start, oh, the but they were way the, too good. The first ones were insane. Yeah, like Garuk Wildspeaker, you'll never see something like that again. Like... If, if you plop Jace Bellerin into standard right now, oh, yeah. it would just be off the charts insane. Even, um, like, five-mana Liliana would be very good. Yeah, I mean, she didn't see a lot of standard play, but I concur that... Yeah, she's just very strong. Like, plus one, you discard. Minus two, I get any card in my library. Right, it's insane. 
Um. All right, so we got a couple keeps. Sanders on the play. Let's see if he can come out the gates a little bit faster this time. What's interesting about this toolcraft exemplar is it heavily skews you towards playing the aggressor. I don't think Sanders cares when you're playing three threes on three twos on turn one and three twos on two. Sure, but like if you have like not a very aggressive hand and you have toolcraft exemplars in your hand, they're like very bad. Right. Throws his copter out. This is a terrible start for Zach. Josh, get in. Sanders passes. Gosh. A lot of value on the board. I can't see what's in his hand, though. It's at least one land. So you got to think Zach's hand is like Dapala is best case scenario here. Yeah, Dapala, Gideon. Plays the wrong land. Plays the wrong land. Ask for a takes these backsies. Takes these backsies granted. Takes these backsies. Gets his one time from Kevin Sanders, who doesn't really care because he is pushing it in right now. <laughs> All right. Gets his clue. He is very frustrated at this point. Yep. Crew. Oh my gosh, we're tapping in all the different directions. I can't handle it. <laughs> Jeez. Look at this. These guys are head to head. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is like, wild. Hey, Jake, do you, can, you, can you drop us a link to the, the gif of the two pandas coming together to make their, the two bears to make the panda? <laughs> You know the gift I'm talking about. No, I don't. Could be anything. Oh, he draws the aerial responder, too. Puts him to four. So this one's much more lopsided. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what that attack from Zach was about. Fairly misguided, but I don't know what's in his hand, so couldn't really I tell you. I think he probably like needed to draw out of out of the. Uh... I mean, he played a land and then takes his back, sees it, so we know he had the land in hand. Yeah, I. Zach complaining about his bad hand that he did mulligan. What is this? <laughs> this is the thing I was talking about. You don't even understand this. First off, it's not a gif. <laughs> You're right. I misspoke. It's not a gif. It's not a gif. It's just a, a standard JPEG. <laughs> Secondly, they're not like butting heads. They're, they're doing the Wonder Twins thing. They're not doing the Wonder Twins thing. That's the fusion dance. Oh, I'm sorry. Get your shit together. If you're going to reference these things, you have to understand them. All right. I'll just shut up. That's so so for the I best. think we saw another example on the left-hand side of your screen of... Um, he should have just mulliganed that hand as it didn't have any real action in it. Yeah. It had um, nothing. Right. I mean, it might have had, like, a plethora of three drops, but you're playing against another aggro deck. I feel like I should create, like, a like a totem or some sort of, like, award or prize for, like, the, the person that, you know, Mulligan's the worst. <laughs> no, we need to create a Mulligan Academy or a Mulligan High overlay <laughs> don't and, be, don't be, okay. and then like put people's names there put people's faces in there sure 
Class of 2017. Yeah, class of 2017. They can graduate when uh, they, they mulligan, mulligan well. appropriately. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even have to mulligan well. Like, just, I don't know. When in doubt, mulligan. That's what I learned. My mulligans yeah. improved so much when I, when I just started mulliganing everything that looked even somewhat questionable. Huh. Yeah, I mean, erring on the side of mulligans is probably better in modern, probably worse in standard. I don't know. I think the the scry makes a big deal. The scry certainly makes a big deal. But the extra card is huge in standard where you're going to get to play all the cards in your opening hand almost without fail. Right. Yeah, and I guess to, that I... Remember, taking his sweet time sideboarding here. He does yeah. have a time limit on that. He does. We've got 19 minutes left. To be fair, I can appreciate his his uh, consternation with this phase of a Magic the Gathering match. Sideboarding is hard. Yeah, it's not an easy skill to pick up. Especially against like a lesser represented archetype like white-black aggro. Yeah, I think it's standard, though, like... Okay, we're gonna get a pile shuffle, too. Alright, fantastic. Um, I think, so, I think, um... In, uh... What was I saying? I don't even know. I can't even, I can't even... You were talking about, uh, his pile shuffling. So I have a pile shuffling... Oh, in standard, I think the decks are more, um, instead of being, like, really nuanced and doing, like, a very aggressive, or, like, very, uh, important things specifically well. Yeah. Um, they have, you have more of a, uh, more of a general thing, like, okay, this deck is aggressive. And so, like, your sideboarding doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm gonna bring in this specific card for sometimes. specifically this matchup. Yeah, sometimes that's the case, but... Yeah, I think right now in like standard, I think that the decks are far enough apart that there is actually some very specific cards. Uh, like I was talking about in round one, like refining your removal suite is very important in games two and three. Okay. So, like, you could have an aggressive... If you're playing against an aggro deck that doesn't have a ton of vehicles, where you would want, like, sorcery speed removal because it's a little more effective. Like, you want to have your ruinous path because you can hit the Gideon. Or the Chandra. Whereas if they have a lot of vehicles and Ruinous Path can just be a very dead card for you. Sure. But you could also have this aggro deck where you just want to load up on your Grasps of Darkness and right. make sure you have the answer to kill their copter before they get to activate it. Man, Zach is really just uh, shuffling the hell out of this deck. Oh yeah. He wants a randomized six. I heard he... He has stock in uh, Ultra Pro. Yeah, it's and a. He just gets his slaves for free. It's a little bit. Um, oh, he gets them for free. No. Okay. No, I don't think that's actually the case. Oh, no, so you're lying. Here's the best one drop in standard. According to me. Yeah. Oh man, dueling Thrabens. Look at this. I've got a Thraben right now. <laughs> I got a raging clue. <laughs> Followed um, up with a copter. You know you want to. Someone's got to do it. Someone give me the turn two copter. Oh, Zach. So, so Zach's hand's got a Pia and this Sky Sovereign Council flagship. Yeah, I don't know why he's playing the Sky Sovereign in this matchup. Like, that card's really good against Ishkana. Is it? It doesn't kill yes. Ishkana herself? Right, so you, the, the theory is you shoot a spider... Crew it, attack, shoot another spider, and then they can trade the Ishkana with it. Okay. So it takes care of most of an Ishkana, mm -hmm. but it also lets all of your other creatures through, which in is that, the relevant In that part. situation where you just, like, you just laid out, like, the ideal scenario, they're still left with one spider. <laughs> it's not the ideal scenario, it's just any scenario with that card. A 
attacks for three, but not the extra two, and I'm not sure I agree with that. I'm more than happy to trade this Thraven Inspector for a Pia if he wants to throw it in front. Sure. Depala. Yeah, no, just you're seeing the power of always watching here. Sure. Zach with his fourth land into play puts it one away from the the sky ship. Oh man, aerial responder. All right. Yeah, get that out of here. He declares. Uh, Depala to be in stone. <coughs> it follows up with Toolcraft Exemplar, which is my favorite one drop in standard. Yeah. Alright. The so. best part of uh, Toolcraft Exemplar here is thanks to always watching, it can block this Thraben Inspector now. That's impressive. Anytime it matches up well with the Thraven Inspector, I'm happy. Here's an exemplar on Zach's side. Exactly. This is an exemplary play. Now that exemplar cannot profitably block a Thraven Inspector. And this exemplar can profitably attack next turn, though. It's going to have three power. It's going to have first strike. No, that was... He missed a... Fragmentize. Right, no longer going to have first strike, but we'll, we'll deal. Will we? I guess if he draws a land, he plays the Sky Sovereign. Uh, he's going to really... So four in for Sanders. Just the... Just the... All right. So what is the, Jake doing? Uh, he, Jake's, so Jake's playing director out there. He's like telling Kevin where to put stuff. Our spotter's trying to coach. Just leave well enough alone, Jake. Come on. Uh, so Zach, I think, has a fragmentizing hand and didn't play it. Zach has a fragmentizing hand and didn't didn't cast it targeting this always watching? I believe so. I didn't get a good look, but that does look to be what the case is. So the flavor of fragmentize... You know, I, I don't think, like, an enchantment would break into fragments. Yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe... Is that a fragment? That's a fragmentize. Maybe he's just confused about the flavor of the card. Yeah, can we call a flavor judge? Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe that's messing with him. Because what you're going to see here is when Zach draws this fifth land, if it comes in untapped, he's going to have a situation where he, he has to spend all of it to either make this needle spire as a guy or or All right. uh, cast the sky sovereign yeah we're uh, probably casting the sky sovereign I, I need That's this fragment oh, okay there wow we go. okay this is Gideon's this is pretty not good. a small deal I make a guy here I don't know what else you would do well you could you could emblem? I thought he was embleming for a second. I just was very <laughs> like, What? That's the most expensive always watching I've ever seen. Um, Wires guys tap. You make the token. Yeah. Um, and and just pass the turn. You're gonna lose your thopter. Just don't don't do that. Don't, don't do it. All right, do that I guess. See if he waits. If he waits here, he can. He can fragmentize the always watching, and yeah. that guy just goes up in value so much. Oh yeah. I don't know what Zach's worried about. I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he, he's so far ahead here. Yeah, Zach's at eleven. He's saying so many despairful things here. You got me. No, just throw the thopter away. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, now you're really up a creek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Gideon can plus. Uh, Zach doesn't hit the fifth land, but that's not the end of the world. Oh man, he's so up a creek here. I just, what happened? 
What happened, Zach? All he had to do is fragmentize the always watching with the lingering mana he had. He chose not to. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. All right, so forget about the turns before. We're going to play this turn right here, right now, Zach. Start off with this clue. Yes. Clue. All right, all right. All right, what all right, did we draw? Right. We oh, drew the land. We drew land. All right. So now we can craft a turn. So we have exactly two cards that we can play. There's number one. Okay, play the play, play the, the fragmentize. fragmentize, please. Play the fragmentize. Please, dear God, play the fragmentize. Play the fragmentize. Target fragmentize. the always watching. Play it. All right, fragmentize will destroy any any target artifact or enchantment. And, Probably play and, the fragmentize. All right. Yes. Play the fragmentize. <laughs> Woo! Woo! He, he did it. He has played the fragmentize. So stoked. <laughs> Saw the play. Saw the play. All right, so make make another ally. So this is make another gotta ally. be the greatest so, achievement in his life. So here's what happens: you oh, just no, make another ally with this Gideon, and both of his both of his flyers then have to attack Gideon. Yeah, they both have to down. attack Gideon anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So you just make another guy, and then you've got so much power on the board. When you play this toolcraft exemplar, or uh, not the the, the 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 sky sovereign. Yeah, I mean sky sovereign's a beating here. Oh man, I'm really excited that Zach is uh, playing magic cards there in his hand at the opportune, somewhat opportune times. Listen, he's improving. Yeah. I I he'll never make that mistake again. I mean maybe. I think about all the... I've been playing Magic a long time. Um, I've been playing Magic longer than StarCityGames.com has existed. Yeah. Both um, of us have. Yeah. And I think about the fact that I'm a bit spoiled. Sure. Um, because as I was learning the game, people were coming out with amazing articles about very fundamental concepts I take for granted. Right. Right. Um, and that's one of them, just like spending all your mana the every Avacyn turn. Avacyn too. I wonder if that's what's coming down next turn. I'll tell you something though. That Avacyn now. Oh, you don't have it. Alright, right, here's always watching. That's fine. Uh, combat? Yeah. I don't understand the Gideon attack. Alright, let Gideon go. Alright, so the Flyers are going at Gideon, and the Thraven Inspector is going to go at Zack. He should let the two come through. There's no profitable way to do this yet. Right. So, Sanders, in standard Sanders fashion... Has walked into a situation where he cannot maximize his Gideon. Here is Avacyn. Avacyn, I'm sorry. Yes. Anyway, I was saying the <laughs> the things... I feel like I should... Somebody should put together. I mean, I'm 100 percent sure it's been done. Right. That somewhere there's a list of like here's 10 magic articles you need to read. Oh yeah. Uh, that are going to literally, list. literally oh. improve you like tomorrow. So you have. Um, who's the beatdown? Who's the beatdown? The philosophy of fire. Uh, the Sam Stott article on improving your game. Oh, the ma the magical inventory. The magical the inventory. Magical inventory. Yeah. Um. If you don't, okay, this is what I want to talk about, uh, because I used it in my professional life. Yeah. And it's the only reason I'm as good as I am at what I do. Okay. Are you good at what you do? I'm good enough to know how bad I am. That's important. That's way more than anybody, most people. Right. Um, I, uh. Go look this up. Sam wrote this article a long time before he. He um, went to work for Magic R and D, and it's just such an amazing uh, piece of writing. Yeah. Uh, it relates to Magic very well, but it also like translates into any other hobby or activity or your job or any part of your life. Really. Yeah, really. Um, it's hard. Oh yeah, it's hard, but I, it's something I, like man, once like, you learn it, it's God. I tremendous. feel like that's what I should do tonight. Just go and read that. <laughs> You've got to be in in the right mood to, to take your your inventory. Yeah. But you got to be very self-deprecating almost. 
Yeah. Like, be willing to be honest with yourself. So what does Zach do here? I feel like he has sniffed the Avacyn out. Yeah. Um, maybe Sater's not playing the Avacyn the turn before. Put him off the Put him off? off the trail? Yeah, maybe. All right, so. So he's, he's wondering, his, his thought process is, uh, if you have the Avacyn, you're going to flash minute and it's turn anyway, and that the answer is yes. He should, but from what we've seen of Sanders, he might not. Using your mana every turn is important, to say the least. Yeah, that's another article where... Uh, I don't know that that's an article. Or that rather that there's one definitive article on that subject. Yes. Uh, I think the guy that wrote it was... Did not play the Avacyn, as predicted. Interesting. Thinks he's being clever. Instead of being wasteful. There are children starving in Africa, <coughs> Sanders. That would love that Avacyn. Yeah. Five mana. For his own always watching. The tables have turned. Two mana floating. Any combination of red and white. He floating. has to announce what they are. Okay, they're nothing. They're nothing. Just like... Just like love, it means nothing. Oh, another Toolcraft exemplar. This one direct from the pre-release. So, how big... The Sky Sovereign is a 5-6... Uh, six five. Okay, so the Avacyn would be able to block and kill it. Absolutely. He really needs another fragmentize for this other always watching. Sure. But if Sanders is going to let him sit there and and do nothing. Sure. I mean, it, it, it's fine. What well, this uh, ship out? There's not a lot that Sanders can do. So we know Zach has another land in his hand. Do you play it here? No. no. I don't think there's right. anything you could do. So, like, if Sanders was lower, you could make an argument that being able to play something and activate this Needle Spire, or maybe activate two Needle Spires, was relevant. Oh, man. Double always watching. Oh, man. You think we're always watching? We're always watching. Yeah. Seriously, this is some big brother shit right here. We're watching. Welcome to Trump's America. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three. What do we got? What more you got? DePaul is De real big here. Okay. so gosh. Might be the biggest. Let's see if he sees why. <laughs> why? Because you just get to look at two cards every turn or however many. Or like five or six. However many times Sanders now, wants to stall on this Avacyn. Now you play this extra land, right? Trigger. There you go. Nice job, Zach. Zach's really playing. Another Depala. Gideon. That's fine. So sweet. Yeah, so now you can... Next turn you just get to whatever willy-nilly attacking with this Depala. It's kind of a non-bow with always watching, but that's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you can always tap it to crew... All right, Zach's playing deliberate here, but he's definitely on the shot clock. Verifying simple math. Life totals. All right, Sanders is still, man, he is. Draws land, plays land. Playing that Avacyn just as tight as he can. All right. Play your basic here. Get the ball untapped. I would, I would just be activating the ball and deploying everything I possibly could every time. Yeah. So now these lands matter a lot. Uh, PNLR would be huge. So activate the ball for like three, or two. Two is like the best you can do because, or no, no, no. You want to do it for four. You want two mana left over. Your your possible hits are Toolcraft Exemplar, uh, the Veteran Motorist, and 
a fleet copter. Fleetwheel cruiser and copter. Copter fleetwheel cruiser. So I'm I'm gonna play into the the motorist and the three uh, is right copter. out. I want either two or four. Right. All right. Here's four. Nope. Not six. Six is okay if you're just hell bent on not attacking here. Three, four, five, six. All right. Nothing. A big whiff. That's why you do it. <laughs> later, but that's fine. So, All looks right, like Zach gonna is going to be turn zero here. Alright. Yes. Alright, so... Let's see if uh, Zach attacks. Pop in the clue immediately. Not a huge fan. I want PMLR worse than anything else. Oh, yeah. With as few creatures as Sanders has. Yeah, even if he drew... If, if you drew PMLR, even if he had Avacyn... I mean, if Sanders wins this game because he's been slow rolling this Avacyn that could have won him the game many turns ago, yeah, I'm just going to go through the roof. Alright. Alright. It's time. So we got a couple five threes. Just eat them. Just <gasps> eat them. Time to deploy this Avison. Because you want to be able to play whatever you draw and activate this Shambling Vents anyway. Alright, well, I play Avison. Yeah. Alright. Like, alright. I, I don't understand. Uh, Alright, so Sanders is going to gain four. Go up to 22, which is a pretty high life total, but Zach has a huge board. Yes. Sanders is completely out of range. Play a land. Oh, don't, don't do this now. Because you're going to want to be able to crew that Sky Sovereign. Right, to uh, block. To block. Alright, so the question was, if I crew on my own turn, can I still use her ability? Sure. Yes, and it's any time it becomes tapped. Alright. Passes <laughs> the turn. So Draws the stasis snare. Alright, so what Sanders wants to do is attack with every, everything he possibly can. Yep. Um, and then when he crews that ship, you stasis snare it. And you win the game. And then, and then hopefully, all right. Send them all. Through the ship. Holy ship. Holy ship. Here we go. This is turn two of turns, by the way. No, this is turn one. Zach was turn zero. Oh, this is turn. All right, so Zach's going to go through and confirm uh, the power and toughness of Every creature Every on the board. <laughs> yeah, let's check the graveyard and see the power and toughness of those creatures. He's also going to, um, you know, find out what the what the R and D is trading at in relation to the yen. <laughs> like favorably. Favorably. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we're doing this. Three, four. All right, we get. All right. We hit two. Um, not relevant. Alright, so Sanders uh, is commenting on what a card should do on his his opinion. Yeah. 
All right, so Xander should stasis snare. All right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's got ten in the air. So you got blocks for one. Might as well throw something in front of this Draven Inspector. And the, yeah, he can block everything effectively so he doesn't die. But it doesn't matter. Like everything in life. It all comes to an end. <laughs> all a right. bitter, bitter end. All right, so at least Zach, what Zach really, uh, he just, he likes himself, the sound of his own voice, images of him appearing on the internet. Yeah. All right, there's a lot of complaining going on right now, but that's fine. Turn two, play a card, draw, realize you don't have any flyers, concede. <laughs> Can see the game. We'll move on. Move on with our lives. And let's, uh, yeah, let's move on with our lives. Uh, All right. Move on with our lives. Zach, let us move on with our lives. Well, he gets to scry too. Oh, good. So Zach wants to look at two cards in his deck. Uh, if he really would, he could look at all the cards in his deck if he were to concede the game. <laughs> That's a true statement. Um, he. So he has a copter in hand. He isn't going to see either so of those cards again. So he could live another turn. You can play a copter. You can play a toolcraft exemplar. Um, Alright. So this copter means... That well, he's, he's still dead. He has to cast, like, these other cards in hand first. Sure. Sure, we're going to have another creature. Sure, sure, sure. So, that's two, three. Okay, so now he can survive a turn. Assuming Sanders right. doesn't draw removal. And... Andy has a deck and stone on top. However... However... Sanders is going to get turn three and five. And he's going to need more than just this deck and stone to survive the last turn. Draws his own copter. That's actually pretty big here. All right. All right, everybody's in. So what, if Zach could really, if he wants to, to punt this thing to the moon, he activates Depala to look at <laughs> the down two. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh, but I don't think he wants to go all the way to the moon. What I would do is, yes, he's choosing to do it the right way. Yeah. Needs to block literally everything else, which means we need to fire up this copter. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have to yeah. fire up the copter. All right, crew the copter, please. Dear Lord. So, so if he trades, this is the second biggest punt that he can make. <laughs> what? If he trades, it's the second biggest punt that he can make. Because then this Avicen will flip on his upkeep and just kill him before he gets to draw his deck and stuff. Oh, man, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, so I have some forgiveness for Zach. He's, he's Pays like, the two. What? Nope. Nope. Almost nope. did it. Almost. Almost triple pun punted. All right. Still punted. All right. So Shambling event dies. Trigger, please. All right. That's it. We're going to take a quick.